What's up guys, Mark back for episode 3 of our Journeyman career mode, but I figured before I'm recording this right after I record episode 2, I figured right before we get into like any first game or transfer or anything like that, alright, so we need to go find the house. So, as we can see, we can see we're literally right on the, uh, we're literally right in the ocean. Uh... This is exactly where the stadium is in Ukraine. Oh my god, that's a beautiful fucking place. But, pretty much, that is our stadium. It is beautiful from the looks of it. So we can get these guys up. We can get Chornomorets back. Oh my god. We could borrow up to 600k. Okay. It is a good investment for us. This might work. Modern flat style, okay. Nice bedroom. Washer and dryer underneath a sink, I've never seen that. I'm not used to Europe. It's a neat little place. Um, where is it in relation to the stadium? Um, where is it? Oh, it's basically around this area. It's basically around where, uh, like, <laughs> get... Oh, that's not bad. Like, basically choosing from the previous market to Tournarets. Uh, what the, how do you spell it again? Don't mind me. And we even have an Ikea close. Uh, Prevaz. Basically the Prevaz market, let's just say. It's another 12 minute drive. All right, we have found our flat. Now, where would we want to record the videos at? Um. Probably... Probably just record it right next to the bedroom, like set up like the computer here, a couple outlets here. Yeah, that'll work perfectly. So we found our house. We have found our house. And with that part of the recording done, I'll leave you to the next part. Alright, and with that, it's the next part of the recording because different day because I wasn't feeling too hot to re finish that recording and stuff like that. So, let's get right back into Chorno Moretz. As you see, we're on match day today in the Premier Liha. Uh, as you can tell, Shakhtar already won 5 nothing. But, since you've been gone, I have made some transfers. And I'm trying to get uh, other people in. Um other stuff like that we have an assistant co we basically have everything we need except for an extra scout basically uh my assistant head coach is alexi tarasov 10 8 and 7 which isn't too bad um goalkeeping uh the head performance analyst uh 12 and 7 which eh. <laughs> um basically um i think that was all good um we have Alexander, and basically we have uh, Nashimenko as our normals. Um, I think everybody else was just there. Yeah, I think everybody else was just there. So basically the transfers we've done so far are, I'd say, pretty good. As you see, we've only spent 220k and uh, we still have 333k left to spend. So let's start top to bottom. Um, Also, some of these may be from the general mat or the head of youth development bringing them in. Um, like this guy. Komar... Komarovsky? Question mark? I really don't know how to pronounce Russian Ukrainian names. We brought him in for free. Um... We brought, I actually brought this guy in because one of my scouts found him from Medalist, uh, which is in the second division. Anton Bratkov, basically a star player in his prime years. Basically, he's one of our starting center backs. He's, for this league, he's pretty damn good. Our next one was Sergio Duarte, who basically in the, 
in this, in the scouting, scouting center, there we go. He came, he came through, either him or his agent was like, hey, I think my guy would do really well. I'm like, okay, let me scout, or let me put him on trial. I like the look of him, and he was cheap. He's only on 125, which isn't that bad at all. Um, and our finances were still pretty damn good. We're still under payroll by a shit ton. So he's pretty damn good. Um, Marco Siskov is another one that came through like the scouting center. It was like, hey, I could be good. So I trialed him. Saw he was three star with four star potential. Halfway decent. He's not bad at all. Now this guy came through the scouting center and I'm like, ooh, this guy's actually pretty decent. But I didn't realize he was also Brazilian. Although Brazil and Ukraine, given Shakhtar's plethora of Brazilian stars they've had over the years. Lucas Rodriguez for $56,000. I'm calling it dollars. I don't care. He counts as one of our foreign guys, which sucks, but also it's actually really good. Also attribute. There we go. Um, I'm still getting used to everything. Basically, we've got him on like a four year deal. Basically, it, there's a relegation release and a minimum free release to foreign clubs. So basically, if he does well, We've made profit on him, no matter what. Previously played at Sao Paulo, then Mirasol, then Moriens, Mafra, and Moriens. He doesn't look bad. And a backup goalie I found, Andrea Romagnoli. Now, if I'm not mistaken, he's not related to any other... No, but Manuel Neuer is his idol. Okay, so we got him in for free as a backup goalie, and... I think in his clause... I think one of his clauses that we had to bring in was, um, where is it? Um, yes, where did it go? Hello. Hello, happiness. Where's... Hello? Basically, with Lucas Rodriguez, 5% will go to him because we had to do that. And basically, 30% will be going to Mirasol, which I can't really complain about that. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to find promises or anything like that. I don't know where anything would go. Where anything would be. So, basically, I think a transfer clause in his contract is... Basically, if our starting goalie, Pid, if Roman goes, we're getting Roman Yoli as the main guy, which, honestly, I'm happy with. He was trained at Roma, ironically enough. <laughs> Basically, we've sent them all on, uh, like, Russian and Ukrainian intensive language courses and stuff like that. So, without further ado... We're going into our first game against FK Obalon Brovar. Lovely. Um, really? Nothing else? Um. Um, uh, who are you? Um. They really don't have anything to say. Um, he doesn't have any advice on anything. Um, I think this is what we're gonna go with. I think we're gonna go with Zolo up top as our main striker. Uh, yes, it's an attack. It's an advanced forward with only nine finishing. I've seen worse. And with a target man, I'm going with Arthur Avagimian. Yeah, that's a mouthful. I'm going with Arthur as the um, second as the target man. Basically, I've switched from a diamond to a four three four one three two, mainly so I can get uh, Yaki Miv in as a back. As a box to box midfielder, Kozak in as the advanced playmaker, which I think he'll do well in, and Putra as a Car as a Carolillo. Basically, he's two and a half star everything, so I'm like, ah, let's try it. Basically, we have Stanislav. I'm just gonna use their first name because it's easier for me. Um, as left back, we have Pri Priyima, our really good center back. We have Bratkov making his debut at center back, and we have Zubieko. Eugene Zubieko as right back, and then we have Pivi as our backup goalie, and then basically, um, there we go. We can only have seven players in the foreign eleven, or seven foreign players in this playing eleven. 
that's completely fine. Lucas Rodriguez, I want you in this squad somehow. Um, Yavalenko isn't totally fit, so he's just going to be there. Um, uh, yeah, that'll work. Even though these three... Actually, yeah, these three don't even matter. Um, don't mind me. Um, just making sure there's nobody else. Uh, that I want to bring in. I have people on trial like this Tebow Shiard, who's actually really good as a center back. Philip Bozitz, who is not half bad. I have Mechia in the... I have a Croatian guy. I have a Croatian guy. I have Vitali on loan, or on trial. I have Juf on loan, who looks really good as a Gambian. Gambian. And I have Kapalan on loan too. So, without further ado, I think we're going to go into our first uh, game. Uh, nobody wants any specific numbers, so Rodriguez, you're getting the number 19. Uh, Tretyakov, you're 16, so you're getting 16. Golovin, you're also sick, getting you're also 16, so you'll get number 18. Sergio, you are getting number 7. Bratkov, um... Let's just go with the number four and Roman Yoli. Let's go with the number 22 because why? I like that. I have not set up any um, like free kick takers or anything like that. So without without further ado, I play on key highlights so you won't see everything and stuff like that. There. All right. So what are we going? Um, Apparently we owe him revenge. So let's just pump the fist saying you can make a difference as my cat is making a difference in me in my line of sight. You'll be able to see a tail flash through the screen as he almost slides off the desk. Lovely, um, you'll get used to that. All right, let's go kick off. We are in the black and blue, hence me wearing the France kit. In our beautiful stadium, I cannot deal with all of this, even though this looks absolutely beautiful. They have the formations, so let's have our formation up here. There's down there, the table's there, the score's there, the shop's fine. Um, I can go league table, no, not league table, um, overview? Where is it, where is it? There we go. And then we can go match stats right there. All right, even though match stats are literally right there. Um, huh. Let's go XG Matt story because I think I want to. There we go. There we go. So yeah, I play on key highlights. I put it on the TV and the replay is going to be from behind the goal. I really don't know what to expect from this team. I want to stay up. Oh, hello. They have a highlight. Also, this camera views good play budgets. Uh, we have nobody covering. This also works as like a data analyst thing to see how we're playing against everything. Okay, so immediately noticing uh, at that guy, I want basically the strikers I want marked. Uh, him, I want him on the weaker foot. There we go. How bad was that goal from this angle? Oh. Praemia missed the uh, thing, missed the header, not good. Let's let's encourage the boys. They're seeming down in the dumps right now. Oh God, Kozak, that was, yep, yep. Wow, wonderful start. Oh my God. I'm not going to change anything else because, uh, oh my god. Let's go to that cautious mentality. Um, I even have stay on the feet on. Hello? Yeah, I even have stay on your feet on. Okay, Yaki Mibs just picked up a card. I'll tell him to ease off those uh, tackles a little bit. Um, come on, guys. I'm going to see a little bit more. Okay, highlight Sergio into Yaki. Into Zolo, back to Putras, back to Duarte, back to Aggie, to Sergio. That was bad. 
I don't know how that was a highlight. Okay, so. We know, I know you can do better than this. And you've got the ability. And I'm not happy with your finishing, so. Uh, I'm gonna go swap it up a little bit. I'm gonna have Zolo to my... I technically it would be a 424, but it's gonna be a 42. Oh my god. Pooch is also on a yellow. Why are my. Alright, let's try that. Go to my uh, Dortmund Gigan Press for the second half at least. Sorry. Um, I'm not seeing. This might be fun. Okay, winning the ball back. Not good. How was that a red? How was that a red card? How was what what? I did, I did. I, 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 I really don't know what to say because what the fuck? hell is going on also that one that one shot is literally all we've had in anywhere near uh duarte you can still be a ball winning midfielder there we go um yeah let's get lucas rodriguez on there uh what can he play he's basically the attacking guy okay so that might work um Zolo, can you... No, you cannot. Um, let's just get you pressing on support, maybe? I really don't know what to do here. Express yourselves. Um, wow, I was not really expecting this. Duarte is actually not playing that well. Um, who can we bring on in replace of him? Uh, let's get Klimenko in. Wow, this is absolutely terrible. I... Valiev? I don't know why he tried a shot from the out out that far um if they go on the score from this i'm going to question everything gravovsky gives it up the blood blah 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 oh my god we're terrible yeah i really don't know what the hell is going on here because huh I'm going to thrash the arms and say I'm far from pleased with that result because that's exactly what I am. Um, what the hell? I'll be re I'll be back for the second game. Well, the good news is a couple days before I saw this guy uh, come up in the scouting center and he looks actually halfway decent for a left for a uh, attacking left midfielder. So I'm like, uh, yeah, please. So Mohamed Maras, we get to send him on uh, Ukrainian and uh, Russian language training. Please design a player of his caliber of importance. He's valued at 1.1 million, which is a really, a really freaking good. Uh, Mohamed Amara. Uh, let's give him the number 12. Also, that guy's joining our under 21. Yay! 
Excellent. Uh, cool. Excellent. So we have a head physio. Uh, let's just try and sign this guy. Head physio. Boom. There we go. That was easy. <laughs> Unless he signs a contract with them, which would fucking suck. Also, I'm changing up the tactic. It's still going to be a controlling possession thing, but it's going to be a 4-2-3-1. Basically, uh, it looks like Rodriguez will come in uh, from the left-hand side as the inverted... Or actually, is he left-footed or right-footed? He is right-footed, so he can actually be the inside forward instead. There we go. Um... The defenders, I'm literally just going to uh, edit them to ease off the tackles, mainly due to the fact that uh, I don't want anybody to get sent off again. Oh, there we go. That works for Duarte perfectly. There we go. Uh, Duarte, I can't do that to. Um, yeah, this will work perfectly. Um, Yaki Move didn't have a good... Yucky Miff didn't have a good game. Uh, yeah, he didn't have a good game, so... Hello, Mara, where are you? Oh, you're already there. Excellent. Oh, Trichikov, that's who. Actually, yeah. Trichikov? Advanced Playmaker and Support? You know what? He can work there. Um... He can play on the left. Can he play on the right, though? He cannot play on the right. Can Rodriguez play on the right? No, he cannot. Huh. Alright, so we'll deal with that. Uh, basically, we'll see if they want to... Kill. And Archer got injured. Lovely. So, I'll be back for the next game. All right, and since we have a game today uh, at 15 Hunt, basically in five hours, we've hired a new scout named Vicente. Now, you may be thinking, okay, he's probably decent enough, right? Yeah, let's send him on Russian and Ukrainian because he has Spain and Spain, good one. Spain has good ones. Um, Stanish don't need another scout, 18, 10, 11 versus... Nikki Fordov. Oh, cool. It looks like we got another scout in, so yay. Um, and we're also getting Stanich in. Takes Eastern European in. Hello, there we go. Let's get them on assignments. Uh, Vicente has five people he knows about. Ali Koulibaly. Would be a very good signing. Uh, yes, please. Um, could I offer you a trial? Uh, 37, no. 35, no. 38, no. Jonathan Villa, no. Okay, so Vicente, I want you going. Uh, assignment. Uh, take care of Spain. Um, how do I take care of Spain? Yes, take care of Spain. And basically look for not valued look for very good potential give me at least superb and then stanich you can take over eastern europe yes um i always hate how i have to do this can i not can i not send him on a Scouting assignment? Hello? Yay! We did it! Stanich! Now, can I put you... Yes! Create new assignment! I want you to take care of Eastern Europe. Get me potential of at least superb, and maybe... Just get me good potential, guys. At least Kulibali said no, but he's gonna be a goalkeeper for... Goalkeeping coach for the second. Alright, so we have our second team or second game um 
they think we should go very attacking, so let's go for it. Um, you're gonna be personally there. Mara makes his debut on, on the left side, which is awesome. Um, perfect. Uh, Kirsana, that's fine. Um, uh, two and a half stars versus three stars. Um, yeah, I think I'm pretty good with this. And then Siska makes his debut there. Um, Siska, I'm gonna give you the number five, because I like you. Alright, boys, let's get into this. I, I think we still have the control possession. Okay, so, um... Go show the world you got what it takes. I have faith in you, I have faith in you, I have faith in you. Let's go, boys! If they have a really weird red and yellow thing. That's good. I'll drop it to attacking. We've already had a shot, which is awesome. Wow, we've done three shots, but they haven't been that impressive, apparently. Wow, this is... Wow, that was a very boring half! And of course, immediately, they have the ball. Blagogi. Awesome name, by the way. What the hell? Chicken in the hair? Um, mark him, please. Um, Martienko and Bratkov, what the hell? Wow. I didn't think this team was actually going to be this shit. It, this terrible. Uh, let's try and pass into space. Be aggressive, hello? Like... Uh, just stay on your feet, though. Oh my god, a highlight that starts with us, instead of us defending. Don't mind my cats going absolutely fucking crazy for no reason. Lucas Silva! Oh! It looks like he- it looks like he got a tip of it, so... Mara swings it in... Nothing. And Martienko brings it right back out. Lovely! This is going... This is going swimmingly. Come on, boys. I'm going to demand more. Oh my god. Like, what the hell's going on here? Um... Yeah, let's bring in the Abigail men. Like, we're doing absolutely nothing. Like, this is absolutely terrible, boys. Is Zubieko the- oh my god, I hate when I hit that wrong one. Okay, I can swap- I can swap more over there and then maybe bring in- Ooh, boy. I really can't do anything, boys. So Zubieko and Mara, there we go, and then I can bring in Zoltov- or sorry. Zolo. Um... Yeah, this is what I might have to do. A deep lying forward, but you can stay wider with the ball. Like...
Wow, we have 12, 13, 13 shots to one. Martienko, thank you, Zolo. Could this be the Playboys? Oh, hello. I don't have a penalty taker set up. Um, Bratkov is our best one. Hello. I'm going to give it to Mara. Mara, Zolo, and then uh, uh, Artar. I'm assuming they don't have VAR in Ukraine. If they do... They do! You learn something new every day, and it's a penalty awarded. I'm only pausing this so that doesn't go on the screen. Alright, Mara steps up for the penalty, boys. Come on, can we get our first goal on camera and get a point? Rescue a point? Yes, we can! By the new guy, Mara! Mohamed Mara! His... Goal on his debut, that's not bad at all. I think I might have to work with the three up front. Actually placed it literally exactly where the goalie was. Um, maybe we can get the late winner. Get the late winner, boys. Distribute it to the playmaker. Just say YOLO and go for it. Oh my god, it worked. Siskop, get it, so... We're just playing it back around in our own half. Oh god, no. Martianko, that was dangerous. Hello? Could this be the play solo? Yes! Yes, boys! Let's go! It's first ever goal! Let's go! Uh, bring that bat down the balance, please. Uh, bring everything lower. Um, yeah, please don't do everything. Slow the pace down, boys. Just lob it over to the lob it over defense. Let's go, boys. Zolo, a three at the top might have to be my three. Uh, three at the top may work perfectly. I mean, granted, we got a lucky because I don't think he was expecting Zolo to be right there. Let's go, boys! Our first three points on camera. Don't mind me if I look away, because my cat's going absolutely bonkers right now. I'm assuming he's happy. Let's go, boys. That was a very good win. Mara and Zolo, where are you? Very happy with you, boys. Let's go! I'm impressed! I'm really impressed. Let's go, boys. And then our next game is against Shakhtar. Yeah. So that's where I'm going to leave this episode now. I think I'll play a few games off camera. I think I might come back. Uh, let's see. What's a good matchup to come back for? Um, probably a mid-table kind of matchup. Um... I'll probably through I'll probably play through the month of August and then come back for the uh, Zorha and Vorskla Poltlava. Poltava. Yeah. So that's where I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna save the game now and go to the normal outro screen and basically say thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um the first game was shit, second game we got lucky, but still um, I'm happy. So um Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and uh, if you're enjoying this, let me know down in the comments if... I don't know if you guys are familiar with your Ukrainian players and Ukrainian beats. Let me know if you have any suggestions for me. See you in the next episode, and take it easy, guys. Stay safe.